JS is a really big ensemble and it's a very diverse ensemble in terms of ages and abilities. There are some kids in, in the ensemble who haven't been playing for very long at all uh, and there are some who have been playing for quite a while. But all of the kids love it. They love music, they love playing their instruments um, and they love one another's company. And although it's a really big ensemble, they're all really good mates. JS uh, start first thing in the morning. The kids all arrive, they get themselves unpacked. Then they come in and we do some tuning up and I always make the tuning up part of their warm up so they can do long bows and look at the person in front of them and learn some basic ensemble skills, even though they're not aware they're doing that while they're tuning up. Nice tuning. Then we go on to some bowing warm-ups for fun and, and the warm-ups usually relate to the pieces. I try and pull out a section of the pieces, might be a bowing, we do a lot of shadow bowing things where we, we go down, up, up, down, up, up, whatever it might be and that comes straight from the score and then obviously after the warm up I can go straight to that section in the score and it makes sense. One, two, three! After about half an hour of, of working on full ensemble stuff, uh, they break off into tutorials. So first violins, second violins, violas, cellos and double basses. So they all get a specialist tutor and they all get a specialised hour of tutorial time. <laughs> JS tutorials, um, we really dissect their parts um, and look at lots of the techniques that are in there. Our conductor Kieran Casey chooses repertoire really carefully that often has um, spiccato bouncing technique or vibrato or, or techniques that they're often just starting to learn. Um, so we consolidate and compare um, techniques um, just so that they have confidence when we join back together in the, in the full string orchestra. Um, to, to assert their parts and, and that's really important at the young, younger level. Now this is the building block so that they can eventually master the instrument, you know, down the track. Master, so it means it means majestically. Majestic. Okay, so let's do it let's do it like that, okay? So guys, lots and lots of vibrato. We work a lot on skills around playing in, a, in an ensemble. So things like intonation, uh, rhythm, um, tone, and uh, which, is, which is really important for all stringed instruments, but, but violas especially, being the middle, the middle register instrument. The tutorials are important to have every week to consolidate what we do in rehearsals and work on passages within that section that would take too much time during a full rehearsal. We do our tutorials and then have like a 15 minute break. Um, like in break time I like to buy chips and sharing it and hang out with my friends. They do have the break after their tutorial and they actually come back a bit tired but at the same time even though they tire towards the end of the rehearsal, the initial start of that main rehearsal after the break is, is a lot more successful in the whole group sound.
they're usually really keen to show off what they've been working on in in tutorials. You know, look at look at what we've been working on, and look at look at how much better it is than when you heard it at ten o'clock this morning. And the sense of achievement that comes from that is is really exciting, and that's really really cool to watch and and see that sort of thing develop. The full orchestra suddenly it's it's got this. Um, this brightness where there's confidence in each part and we can hear them fitting together more neatly and that's that's really exciting. Yes! 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 Can you hear that beautiful short sound? When I, I practice my skills and then the next week I go back to MIM and then, I, and then when, I, when I'm really good at it I, I like to feel like relaxing and being professional. <laughs> I like coming to MYM and teaching these kids. The repertoire's usually a bit more challenging and the kids want to be there is the main reason. They're enthusiastic and it's, it's enjoyable, the reward's there when it all sort of comes together. I love seeing the kids develop as, as instrumentalists, as musicians. Quite advanced musicians for their age and also develop socially. They, they grow up a lot through the year their individual personalities. Um, that's, that's lovely to see them come together and, and feed off each other. I hope the students go home with a sense of joy and that joy keeps building up and that's what brings them back again because they wouldn't do it if they didn't enjoy it. I mean, let's face it, I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it either. It's a highlight for me and I think it's a highlight for many children. What we want at the end of the day is kids to play beautiful music.